my name's Steve Pendleton. In 1991, I was serving with the 2nd Battalion of the Royal Green Jackets in Omar, County Tyrone, Northern Ireland. My name is Heidi and I'm a forensic artist. I qualified from the University of Dundee in 2010. When you're on operations, you always fly with the doors open. Dead exciting stuff. I mean, this is what I personally joined the Army for. My experience is mostly in interviewing people in a laboratory studies. All of us will look at a face and make some sort of judgment of the personality. We had been separated all the way through the morning. Her job was to sketch me from just my own verbal descriptions. And I haven't actually seen what I look like in 22 years. We started off as um, not seeing each other, so he was facing away from me. So how would you describe yourself? My cheeks are a bit, fu a lot fuller, <laughs> but my chin, personally, I don't think it's changed. So from the cheeks down, there, there's quite a difference. So it narrows down quite a bit from the bottom of my jaw. Okay. Yeah? yeah, and it goes along and I've got a, a nice dimple in the middle. Can you just tell me how your personality shows on your face? Oh, I've got a massive smile and my eyes, even though I'm blind, my eyes light up. My lips are, are one of my best features and I've got beautiful long eyelashes, so my wife tells me. Yeah, you seem to have a really good good idea of your face. <laughs> It always snows in Northern Ireland in the middle of November. And I'm looking out of the door and to my right, all I can see is hills, mountains, absolutely beautiful. That helicopter, which was straight and level, has now flipped right over. So one minute I'm looking at this snow covered hillside. The split second later, I am looking straight down at this B road that's running in between the forest as we were crunched along the ground, the front of the helicopter came crashing in and the split windscreen, they caved in. And that was literally the last thing I ever, ever saw with clear vision. My dad, he told me that I was in the intensive care unit of the Royal Victoria Hospital in West Belfast got it in my head that he was trying to protect me from the sight of all these scars and injuries. So I said to him, I said, go and turn the lights on, Dad, so I couldn't have a look at this. And my dad, he said to me, he said, Steve, he said, the lights are on. So after Steve describing himself... She sketched my middle daughter, Shannon, who's 15, and obviously I've never, ever seen Shannon at all. I've got no idea of what she looks like. I was quite amazed how, how detailed he could go into. So how would you describe your daughter? I imagine her nose to be like mine, mm -hmm. but perhaps a tad wider on, on the bridge. She's, she's got good cheekbones. Okay. In a beautiful way, not in a sticky outy yeah. way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She runs like some sort of uh, uh, Brian, is it Brian, oh, what's his name? That guy does the funny walks, John Cleese, with big <laughs> long legs, you know? Okay. <laughs> I've got three beautiful daughters. I've never seen what they look like. It, it's sad, it is sad that I, obviously I can't see what they look like visually, but I try not to let it upset me too much you know, because otherwise, well, it, it could. I look at people from the inside out rather than outside in. That's what attracts me, not what people look like.